Hey guys, so we're working on a project right now that showcases this area of Saigon here in Vietnam, highlighting our neighborhood in particular. Part of our approach to that is showing the perspective from a motorcycle. After all, this is the motorbike capital of the world, so what better perspective, right? But what is the best way to capture that perspective? Well, I came up with a few different options. What you see on the left-hand side here was shot on the DJI Osmo. It's a great small camera with the kind of stabilization you can only get with a three-axis gimbal. I have it suction mounted onto the tank here and I've got it on there pretty good. At normal speeds, this should not be going anywhere. What you see on the right is the GoPro Hero 4. It's also a great camera for its intended purposes, but of course it doesn't have the stabilization of the Osmo. Sorry guys, even the digital stabilization of the Hero 5 is nowhere near the same thing as using a gimbal. It's also suction mounted to the tank, and it's also really secure. So take a look at these two clips and you'll notice a few things. First of all, with the Osmo here on the left, the jello effect on anything close to the camera is just awful. But the horizon in the distance is super smooth. With the GoPro, the entire thing is shaking all over the place and it's pretty much unusable. Also with the Osmo, as the camera leans with the motorcycle, it has a real hard time finding a level horizon. So the entire clip is at almost a 45 degree angle, and that sucks. Clearly, neither one of these solutions would work for professional production. So despite a few advantages, the GoPro is just too shaky overall. What I need is that gimbal stability of the Osmo, but a way to lift the line of sight up higher so there's not a bunch of stuff shaking around in the foreground. I also need it to remain fairly level throughout the shoot because I'm not gonna be messing around with the camera trying to calibrate it to the horizon while I'm driving. So that's when I tried the Osmo on the GoPro chest mount. Here's the setup, fairly simple. It's just the elastic GoPro chest mount, a few of these GoPro-y extension type things, and a quarter inch 20 tripod mount screw that goes right into the side of your Osmo. Now keep in mind, this was shot on the standard Osmo with the X3 camera and it worked great. We're going to be doing other stuff with the X5 camera, which is a much better camera, but I would not recommend it for this. It's just too heavy for a normal GoPro chest mount. Although as my friend Andy says, there's got to be a way to rig something up.
hope you enjoyed this or found it helpful in some way. I don't normally do a lot of these tutorial type gear type videos, but I watch a lot of them online and so I figured maybe it's time for me to give something back. But if you got something out of it, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll get around to putting more things like this together. Bye.